too many Christians have lost the fear of God. It's not taught. It's not, it's not practiced. You know. How many messages have you heard on the fear of God? You don't hear those kind of messages. And the fear of God is not a bad thing. It's, it's not like, you know, it's not the fear like a fear of a terrorist. It just means a healthy reverence for God. Knowing the certainty of his judgment and chastening if you disobey. And the security of his mercy when you obey. And you know what it does for you? It makes you depart from evil. It makes you depart. When you understand the fear of God, when you are even tempted to do something, you will remember that if you do it, God will forgive you. Forgiveness is not the issue, but there is a chastening that is going to come, and you do not know how severe and how long the chastening will last. So when you remember that, it causes you, the sin becomes unattractive. But when you don't have the fear of God, you will think, well, after all, if I do it, God will forgive me. And you will now begin to take the grace of God in vain. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? You see, Christians who have been taught, watch this. This is another tweet that's just come from heaven. Christians who have been taught the grace of God without being taught the fear of God abuse the grace of God. I'm going to repeat it. Christians who have been taught about the grace of God, but who have not been taught about the fear of God, abuse the grace of God. They think it is a blank check for them to do anything they like. They don't realize that the grace of God makes life and power available to live above sin. Grace gives you the enablement to dominate sin. For sin will not have dominion over you because you are not under law but under grace. So grace is not an excuse for sin. It is the reason for overcoming sin.